Votes still up for grabs tonight in the race to 270. That is the magic number President Donald Trump and Joe Biden are looking for for either of them to win the presidency. Now the vote continues in six states. Those are the gray ones you see right now on your screen. Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, and Alaska. Now while the counting continues in key battleground states, Tennessee politicians warned the controversy might stretch on for weeks. We turned to 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan who spoke with local elected leaders about some looming court battles. Cole? Hey Robin and John, Representative Chuck Fleischman says lawsuits are coming. Some of them already been filed and he told us he supports those lawsuits even if it means weeks of uncertainty. For the benefit of all involved uh, in America, I want to see uh, this go through the proper process of verification where there are irregularities. I want those looked at. I also spoke to State Representative Tim Burchett, who says he has not seen any evidence of voter fraud, but wants to make sure counting remains a transparent process. Ronald Reagan used to say trust but verify, and I think we need that. We need more of that. When the new president is sworn in, the old president is out. The counting continues. The votes are over, and Tennessee's next senator is weighed in as well. Marsha Blackburn and Senator-elect Bill Haggerty both say they want every legal vote counted, and they also advocate for a transparent process. Robin and John, it is important to note there has been no evidence presented by either party of any widespread voter fraud. Cole Sullivan on the story. Thank you.